I chose to design furniture because it, to me, is a really personal expression of how you live your life. While I was growing up, we had a lot of furniture in our house that came from overseas. And those pieces were always really important because they told stories of where my family had been and where they had come from. So everything that I design, I try to make it really functional and also really beautiful and timeless so that not only the design will transcend time, but it's something you could pass down because the quality is there. I went to SCAD with the idea that I would start a business after. There were so many people who were so talented and the professors were so supportive. We were just all very honest with each other about what would work and what didn't work. I definitely needed that before I could strike out on my own. One of my main inspirations is definitely travel. I've been to six continents and my husband and I travel all the time. It's a really great way to keep your perspective. As I built my business model, it became apparent that I really needed to do something closer to home. It's becoming more and more important to the American public to have a face and a story with each product. For me, the easiest way to make sure everything's coming from a responsible source is by staying very close to it. When you're starting a business, you have to be 100% invested in it. I definitely feel a responsibility to deliver a product that's going to last through the lifetime of whoever buys it and hopefully through their children. It is such a fulfilling thing to be able to drive your own business and create exactly what you want to create. It's important to me that my furniture exhibits everything that I build my brand on.